Alright, what is up you guys? We're on my custom mod pack for Feed the Beast. On my single player world, Dirty Fargo here. And we got some stuff to do. I've been itching to play just because uh, I have so much I want to do with you with you guys today. So um, I want to get into beekeeping. So I'll just say that right now so you can know what the plan is for the episode. But I did a little bit of research on it on how to get started with it. So that's what we're going to do today. But um, I guess first I'll just show you what I've done since you've been gone. So yeah, you can tell we've got a lot of chocobos. Now that one's escaped. God damn it. I'm going to have to go tell him to stay at least. Uh, stay. I guess he just grew up from being a baby and when they- Whoa, wait, wait actually. Huh. This fence was not like this before. I don't know how that happened. Does lightning striking do that? I'm not sure. There was a fence here before, though. <laughs> but I, anyways, I increased the size of my pen because... My chocobo pen because I had way too many. Um, still haven't got, like, that third um, mutation or breed or whatever you want to call it. But um, we've got lots of them, but still no no third color. But I kind of wanted to show you, actually, what the blue ones can do because they are awesome. They are so awesome. Um, I have to say... They're almost as awesome as the horses um, in vanilla. Maybe even more. But look at this. Like, just these guys can just pwn through water. Look at how, how fast he's going. And, you know, I think he runs faster as well than the other ones. I'm not sure. Seems to be going. This one seems to be slower than the last. I wonder if they have different, like, values for how fast they go. So I was definitely ripping, the, ripping it up a little bit faster before. Maybe I need to feed him some more, uh, what, what's my call it? Gasols or whatever. Uh, but it was weird. I, I could feed them feathers as well, so. I don't know. I, I don't know why they were eating, eating the feathers. It's like, would you really eat the feathers off your back? That doesn't make sense, buddy. Uh, so what else has been done? I've replaced, oh, I guess they're all replaced with jungle trees now. I didn't want to do a full jungle tree replacement, but, um, whoops. But I definitely wanted to have some jungle wood, so maybe I'll just let that go jungle wood for a while, and then I'll switch it back. But um, this thing has just been crazy. I set up some barrels here just to start collecting the jungle wood, because I don't have a space for a barrel for jungle wood in here. Um, but look at all this wood. Almost 40 stacks. And he probably has 40 stacks now, counting what's in there. So, holy crap. We've got a lot of wood, you guys. There's tons and tons of saplings. <laughs> tons of apples as well. Ah, <sighs> lots of wood. We're never gonna need wood again. So, that thing is just poning. Doing so well. This thing is obviously doing well, as usual. And we just saw an egg there. And this is my egg farm. I decided, just in case I want to make those gisel cakes, I wanted a little egg farm. So, all I did was I put some transposers down, attached some pneumatic tubing, and bam, egg farm. And it's already got so many eggs. Um, I think there's only like six chickens there, maybe. I don't, I don't need more than that. Like, we're already getting way more eggs than we need. I hate how they glitch through the transposers, though. That looks really bad. What else? I think we have, I put, I think I put another solar panel on, another advanced one, somewhere in there. I added charcoal blocks here. Since we have so much wood, I decided to check out the charcoal blocks. Not the coal blocks, the new coal blocks from vanilla, but charcoal blocks, and they look pretty cool. Mixed with marble especially, they look really cool actually. Um, what else? What else? We've got some stuff in here I want to show you. Oh yeah, last episode I, I, I had these wire, like the fiber cable and wired improperly, so I think a couple of you noticed it and pointed it out, but now it is all fixed and it's all wired up properly. So when I flick these levers, power is all good now. Also, if we go down here, I replaced all of this farm with uh, the gisols because um, I figure I, I need these more than than I need string right now. I don't really need string right now. So, just doesn't make sense to have that until I need it. But, um, like, you get, like, no, none of those golden gisels or whatever. Like, it takes so much farming to get even one. Like, they're really rare. So, 
That's why I wanted a bigger farm. I, I, I wish there was a way to automate this, there, but there isn't that I know of. Because it didn't work with Steve cards, I tried. Um, yeah, I tried a bunch of other types of wood as well with with Steve's cards to see if it would chop down crazy trees. Um, and no dice, unfortunately. Like, none of the modded trees seem to work. Um, just the vanilla tree. Like, I've only tried, the only ones that I've tried that have worked are, are the jungle wood and the normal wood. But I'm assuming all vanilla types of wood work. I just, I didn't find any of those trees. Or, oh, there's actually something crazy I did find that I'll have to show you. I forgot about that. I almost forgot. It's really early in the morning and I had a late la night last night, so I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> so sorry if you can hear that in my voice. Um, yeah, see, no goldens. I got rid of the ladder there because I figured I don't need it. It's quicker to jump down when I don't have that ladder. Look at all these love-making ingredients we got. Like, so many. We don't have that many of the stuff to breed them, though, because I've been using them and <clears throat> breeding them lots. Um, whoa, almost forgot to put that in there. So we have eight, not too bad. So many feathers. That's why I could make just so many saddles. That's why you saw that they were all saddled up there. All right, so we wanted to get into bees. So... I got a like I got started a little bit and just did some beat collection with a scoop, but I'm gonna show you how <clears throat> how to do that from scratch. So because you know it's it's nice to, to to have the knowledge even if you already know, but yeah, you just need one piece of wool to make the scoop. That's what I'm making now because I'm gonna need another one anyway, so I might as well do it. Um, that should be good enough. Yep. That is perfect. And then you put a wool right there, and then you got a scoop. And then you can go collect the beehives. And I think there's one like right over here. That's so I can, yep, right there. I left that one intentionally just so I could show you, but oh. Don't even think about coming near me, buddy. But I went all over the place and did some exploring and found a bunch. I didn't find any, there's a few specific ones I wanted to find because they were in the video I was watching, but I didn't find them. Like I didn't find a forest one, I didn't find, or I didn't find a jungle one. I was looking in a jungle and I was looking in a forest, but anyways, you just break this with the scoop and then you get the, you get whatever's inside and it's like biome specific, so I don't know, they have different ones for different biomes, like they have mar marshy ones. The ice ones. There's a there's a ton of kinds, I guess. Some of them which I don't really understand, like what what they mean biome wise. Um, like these. There's the wintry ones, and I found those in a uh, snow biome, tundra biome, or whatever it's called. And I also found this frozen comb, which was kind of cool. And then this valiant one. I don't remember where I found that. That's the one that I don't really understand, like, where it came from. This one I found in the water. That beehive. Um, meadows, self-explanatory, marbled. They're kind of just all over the place. They seem to be, like, the most com common one. Like, that's the one I just, I just found. Um, and then a marsh one, which is obviously in a swamp. So, that is how that works. Now we need to actually start bee farming with them. But also, if you remember from a previous episode, I did find some random, in my random loot chest, I have two steadfast drones. So I don't know what type of guys these are, but uh, they're in their own category. <laughs> I don't know. I guess there's different combinations you can do for different things, but I haven't got that far into it. So I just want to start start the bee breeding um, and get that going. So what is the first thing we need to make? Well, we need... What I know we need is we need an apiary, so we should probably make that first. Um, yeah, yeah. So we need impregnated casing and a bunch of wood to make the impregnated casing. We just need logs all around. Um, oh, we need seed oil. How do you get seed oil? If I put seeds into a squeezer, will that give me seed oil? Yeah. Yeah. I have lots of seeds, so I can do that. So I need to make a squeezer first, it looks like. Just to make this stupid thing. Um, okay. Sturdy casing and some tin and glass. So we need bronze all around and then tin and glass. Okay. Now you put that in there 
Oh, we need some glass. Stupid. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Make it easy for me and for you. And for everyone. Okay. So we got ourselves a squeezer. So let's go hook this up to our Buildcraft power source. And I can show you that it's working. Yay. Sweet. Alright, so... I'm actually gonna delete these few blocks just so I can check how much power I got and all that. Um, there's a solar panel. Okay, so we're okay for power. We don't have a lot, but nice. So let's go get some uh, seeds. I wonder if they'll work for the other kind of seeds because I have way too many of those. Uh, I have a lot. Actually, I have a lot of these kinds of seeds. So that is fun with me. All right. Sweet. So it's working. How fa fast is it generating though? Okay, and there we go. It's starting to build up. I'm not really sure if this bucket, these buckets can pick it up. Just in case it can't, which I don't think it can actually. Let's make some of the cans. I think, I think we could do it with that. Um, so we just need tin like this. Sweet. That should be good, for now anyways. We need seed oil in our carpenter, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can take this out. Uh, can I do that? Alright, I guess I gotta just delete it and then replace it. I don't know what else to do. So I guess I'll lose all that crest light oil. Oh well. I guess I'll live. <laughs> We're going to need to upgrade this power system as well soon. It's only got one solar panel. Maybe I'll do one advanced solar panel or something. Maybe add an electric engine or two or something like that. Alright, we got an impregnated casing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably make a few apiaries. So, now we just need wood, basically. I need a crafting bench down here or something. Because I, I hate having to fly up here every time. That's quite annoying. Alright. Nice. 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 Our first apiary. Nice. We got lots of room here, so let's just place one down. And then we're going to want to put our... We need a, a queen. We need a princess and a drone to put in here, I think. And then we need to... I think we'll probably need to get some flowers, I'm assuming. But we also need a few more things, like a bealizer, um, like that, like that, and what is the last things we need uh, right there? Yeah. Um, then we just need the diamond in here. Nice. That'll get us our bealizer. And there's another thing we wanted to see as well. There it is, habitat locator. That's what we need. Habitat locator. So how expensive is this? Bronze and redstone. Super cheap. Nothing. That's nothing. So we got our Beelizer at least. So that's awesome. Alright. Now we can do this. Do our habitat locator. Nice. Alright. So we can click into this. And that when we put a bee in there and put a honey drop. It'll use honey drops to power this. Basically. It's like honey drops like the coal. Um... And this will tell us things it can possibly make. So, like, these are all the different kinds of things it can make. So, these are all, like, the attributes it has, I guess. And I, th I think that's how it works. It, like, you put a bee in there, and then it tells you kind of what it can do in the future. I feel like we should have, like, a, almost, like, have a separate build craft power set up by our bees, though. So I might do that down the line. I know I need a centrifuge as well. That's all. I forgot about that. Um. Okay. So I need sturdy casing and a bunch of copper. Um. Then I need a sturdy casing like that. And then I need this and that and that. Nice. What? I just made another carpenter? I guess I was saying I need another carpenter. It's not what I meant to make. Oh well, I have just enough bronze. At least we have two carpenters now, so I can have one for seed oil and one for something else. 
So we got our centrifuge and then we got our carpenter. So I guess what these centrifuges are for is putting these honeycombs in. I believe. And then they should do something. It doesn't seem to be getting any power though. Oh, it's <laughs> derp. It's nighttime. I forgot. This is just a regular solar panel. It's not going to power much at night. Okay, so it's starting to power. I just have very little power. Dang. Well, let's see how this is doing. This is doing pretty well. So what I might do just for the sake of this video is take one of my uh, advanced solar pan. Oh, what the? I didn't even know he could come in here. Another one, but that's a dust. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take one of my one of my good solar panels just for the sake of this video to speed speed things up a bit. Um, I'll take this one. Looks lonely back here anyways. Alright, so yeah, you can see the, the honeycomb turned into beeswax and honey drops. So I'll be able to use this in my, um, bee analyzer and stuff. I didn't show you the bee analyzer, did I? But if I put, well, let me get rid of some of my stuff first, because uh, my stuff is just a mess right now. Holy crap. Alright, so if we put, let's, let's grab one of these wintry princesses here, and if we put her in here, and then we put a honey drop, nice, so it used a honey drop, and now it's gonna be able to tell us all, all about this. So, lifespan short, short, speed slower, what it likes, it likes flowers, decent fertility effect, freezing, kinda crazy, wintry, um, Stuff about the climate, nocturnal, no, flyer, no, crazy stuff, possible produce, so that's what it produces, um, possible mutations, so I guess we don't know what this, this shows us yet, so that's interesting, it's a bunch of information to look at, um, and let's do the same thing here with the, where is it, oh here it is, the habitat locator so I think this takes yeah this takes honey drops as well and okay so it's got taiga and snow so I guess that's what it has the ability to produce um, cool and we got this extra info on it as well um, now that we put it through there so that's sweet um, I don't really I don't remember how this works so do you do a do you do like a drone and like a different kind of drone like should I put them one of the marble drones in with the winter one and just see how that goes I, d I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna take a few kinds here and and I, I I'm, I'm not even 100% sure on the point of these bees yet <laughs> like I know they produce this stuff but like what is this stuff good for right that's the question um, but I think that eventually you can make bees that make you ores and stuff so I don't know. We're going to have to test that out. See see how it is. But um okay, so let's put for instance a wintry drone in, or a wintry drone in here. So I guess the drones go in here. A marshy princess. Yeah, let's put a marshy princess in the top. Okay, so normal damp sweet. Okay, so marshy queen now. Nice. We got a queen. Climate temperature. And now the, this is like the queen's lifespan, I guess. So, so that's sweet. So you can interact with pipes and stuff with these as well. So that's cool. And oh, look at the bees. Let's let's try a different kind in here, I guess. We'll try for the steadfast drone, and we'll do. Um, what kind of princess should we do? Water princess. Cool. So this is just charging up, and what kind of water queen? interesting this is just like this is my first time ever experimenting with uh with bees so i know i'm just i'm just figuring stuff out for myself but i really wanted to get into it and i don't like doing things off camera so okay so we've got that one's full okay this one could use one so let's do a marbled princess actually let's do a metal meadow princess with a marbled drone try that one out Hostile environment. Machine or inhabitants cannot work in this fire biome. No flowers. Okay, it says no flowers there. Now we're getting all the no flowers symbols. 
no queen in this one. Okay, so let's do a steadfast and a wintry princess. Okay, um, so we need some flowers. That's probably the easiest way to go, for real, is just to go grab one of those skeleton spawners and then uh, come back and bone meal the crap out of everything. Alright, I slept on it, and I thought about it, and I looked at the Wikipedia, and I figured out what the hell was wrong. So sorry about being so derpy this episode, you guys. Like, I'm all over the place. I'm not really clear on anything, and oh man, I think it's just because I'm tired. Not really sure. If you guys know what it means about the, like, this is the one thing I didn't find anything on. Um, hostile environment thing. But anyways, I found out for... These marshy queens, you need, well, let's try with these mushrooms first, because I have more of them, but you need mushrooms as flowers, so, oh, is it too light here or something? But there's a the water one, and I need lily pads around that, so, I guess, should I just put it in the water? So, if we just make a little pad here, oh, come on. All right, it doesn't say need flowers anymore. I think this might be our first like successful. Yeah, and it's draining it. Nice. This is our first successful one. Was in the one in the water. All right, sweet. I think the more lily pads, the better though. So we might as well finish her off. Put them all around. I'm scared of those freaking jellyfish. They're creepy. Really creepy. I don't want to touch them. I'm thinking that means I need to move the apiaries, this fact that it says hostile environment, but I, I just, maybe it's because there's another bee thing so close? I, I don't know how that works. If you guys know, let me know. Or you know what, why don't, why, did I, why don't I just move it? Move it to like right here. Put the marshy queen back in there. Nice. Sky obstructed, okay. So then that's fine, but then where I need to plant the mushrooms, right? How do I? Okay. It seems to have some mushrooms around, so... Okay, this one seems to be working. Hostile environment. So, they cannot work in this biome, so maybe it needs to be... Like, maybe you can't even use these in unless you're in, like, a cold biome? I don't know. Okay, I think I give up on those, those, because, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make it non-hostile, so I'm going to have to do some more research or something. Um, let's see if these guys have produced anything yet. Not quite yet. But once these guys die out, they'll they'll produce some more drones or whatever, or princesses or whatever, and also some honeycombs, so we'll have some stuff to cook. So I guess this is how you start, but um, I'm failing as usual when I start a new mod. That's okay. I don't mind, because I'm going to be learning. This is how you how you learn but it'd be really annoying to have to like i don't i don't know if that's how this works because i know like yeah, i don't know if this that's how this works but it'd be really annoying to have to go to like each biome just to have your bees there we can't make this yet but i think that's the next thing i'm gonna make in the bee thing because i need i need a place to put all these bees and right now i'm just using an iron chest but it'd be nice to have like one of the apiarists chests or whatever it's called and then I have one last thing I want to show you. Because I found something crazy. Man, I feel like this thing's just been going hard. Cause we, oh, look at all that. Uh, I knew it. Because like, I was taking way too long. <laughs> I found something crazy that I'm not even... I didn't even go fully in it because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. still want to make something of that witch hut and do, some, do something with witches. Make some kind of soul shards thing with witches. That'd be so cool. Oh, get out of here, you cracks. I like going through the jungle because I still haven't found a jungle. Um, what's it call it? Uh, beehive. That's the word. It would work in here. The winter. The winter one. Okay, here's here's a freaking thing that we can get. So it's marble. I think, like I said, I think that's the most common one. Here it is. Here it is. Here's what I found. Oh my gosh. Right next to this cool autumn wood biome, which I'm going to have to grab some saplings from soon. Um, but it's not too far away from home. And I walked in. Okay, i, I got to reenact this scenario for you because 
I was just out gathering uh, beehives, so I wasn't recording. I was just like, I might as well get all that hard work done off camera. Uh, speaking of which, there's a nice beehive right there that I'm going to have to grab right now. Um, how did I not see that when I was here before? So this is one of the wintry ones. This is what they look like. What is in here? Crazy. Um, let's see if it gives us anything cute. Yeah, it gave us a frozen comb. So reenactment reinstated. Okay. So I was walking through here. I was like, oh my god, what is this? There's no pressure plates. I don't know what the heck happened. But as soon as I walked in, I started hearing crazy big explosions. So I walked in. Saw crazy explosions going on, and I just, like, ran. But the crazy explosions still happened. Um, so, I don't know what the heck it went on. Like, I don't know how they got triggered. If you guys know, let me know. Because, like, there's no tripwire here. There's no pressure plates. Like, there's nothing under these blocks. Except for a chest. But, like, I don't know what the heck set it off, but... Look at all this explosion down here. It exploded some of the chests for sure. Um, whatever. I don't know what was in them now, which kind of sucks. But yeah, it kind of it kind of does suck. Like, it, look at this big explosion though that it did. Like, what the heck? I don't know what it was, but it has some good stuff in here. It really bothered me that I like like I'm really careful for for stepping on pressure plates. Like I was looking, I was totally looking, and like I swear I didn't delete any. There there was no pressure plate, so I don't know how the heck that got set off. I really don't. But I mean, just a bunch of zombie spawners, kind of crazy. Like I assumed that there was eight. So I I don't know what even what mod pack this is part of, but or what mod this is part of, not what mod pack. It's definitely in the mod pack I'm using, but um, yeah, that I just thought that was really cool, but also I was pissed because I didn't step on any pressure plates. How how does TNT get set off without tripwire or pressure plates? Like I don't I don't even get it, like at all. <laughs> oh man, more chocobos and. Man, does this, like, uh, if you can with this guy, swim. Because, damn. He's, oh, that, that's what I want. I wanted some of these saplings, actually. I'm going to grab them. Nice. So the water drone did his work. Or the water queen. And it gave me two drones and a princess instead of the one. So now it just basically allows you to expand your farms. So nice. I got a common drone. So that's one of the one, the next step up, I think. So you want to definitely use that in your next breeding thingy. So let's just stick the Marshy Princess back in there. Stick the Common Drone in there. Marshy Queen. All right. I wanted. It, I thought I was kind of thinking it would produce honeycombs like every time, but let me know once again if I'm doing anything wrong or whatever. But I'm just gonna end it here because I think this is gonna be a long episode because I kind of dragged on for a while. Anyways, I'm going to add my sapling to here so I can start to get some good uh, good trees instead of all this crap. There we go. Oh, no. He left me. No. Nice. Nice. All right. See you guys later. Peace.